School Pros Podcast. What's up, guys and gals? I got something really exciting to show you guys from Fluke. They are, you know, widely known for their fantastic multimeters. Uh, they make all kind of thermal imagers. They make, uh, you know, sound meters. They make all kind of stuff. But Fluke has been the test instrument people. That's what they've been known as. But guys, look out. Here they are. Hand tools by Fluke. Insulated hand tools, which I'm really excited about. They sent us out some of these hand tools, but we're going to be giving them a full review and all that. All those opinions will be fully mine. Um, we were just furnished that by Fluke, but we'll give our honest and unbiased opinion, of course. But guys, they sent us out these cool hand tools here. We got uh, Phillips. We got Phillips number one, Phillips number two. We got slotted. We got the square number one, square number two. They also sent us out the side cutters, which are super nice. Feel, feel really good. Um, they sent us out the uh, combination pliers here, which are nice really really nice then they sent us the needle nose pliers here also as you'll notice all of them have the handle here which they're rated up to a thousand volts they look like they are made in germany you guys know how i feel about german made hand tools i love them you know usa till we die of course but germans got the hand tools on lockdown also they sent us a pair of pump pliers these pump pliers seem really nice i've used them a little bit so far what's cool is the jaw opens huge see if I can get it open all the way the jaw opens pretty wide obviously you know that's that's inch and a half maybe inch and three quarters there but what's nice is it's these are the slip pop style they're not the push button so I've always been a fan of the slip style I know some guys love the push button but you know that's just my personal preference they did come with this cool little bag I like this little bag here it's got two magnets for, for even weight distribution, and then it has a Velcro here. So you can pull this off and use this on your your uh, multimeter or use it on something else, which is kind of cool. So guys, what do you guys think about the Fluke insulated hand tools? You guys gonna be using these? You gonna look at buying these? They do have a, a nice price tag with them, but I think the quality stands behind it. And I think that, that the price tag is okay for the quality. But guys, you let me know what you think about it. Is this something that you would think about purchasing? because Fluke knows what they're doing when it comes to instrumentation. So maybe do they know what they're doing when it comes to hand tools now? Give me your opinion, leave a comment down below. Thanks. All right guys, we got some Fluke insulated screwdriver here. This is the IPH S2, which is a Phillips number two bit. These things are rated up to a thousand volts, which are awesome. So this is what I'm gonna be primarily using it for, working with live contactors, making sure everything's tight and snug as I check air conditioning units throughout the summer.